Hello friends, welcome to the master cam for SOLIDWORKS tutorial series and in this short tutorial series we are going to see uh, a drilling operation and a turning operation of the lathe milling center on master cam for SOLIDWORKS software this is the diagram which we are going to follow so this is the 38 diameter this portion of the workpiece will be held inside the chuck as we have been provided with these dimensions so we will be only machining this portion so our tool will reach till here and that's about it okay so we will not be machining this portion although we will give some uh, dimension for this por uh, portion of the workpiece and that we will that we will use as a reference dimension so that we can have that portion held inside the chuck jaw for machining purpose now i have here 34 diameter then i have a taper then uh, 24 diameter then there is a radius and then at the end i have 16 diameter and i have a 5 12 mm drilled hole okay whose uh, the total depth is 17 mm and accordingly the widths are also given so i will start the solidworks in a usual manner start with the top plane we will first create the axis symmetric section of the workpiece and then we will rotate the object to create the workpiece so let's get started Yeah, so this is a end to end line diagram of the workpiece and now I will start giving dimensions. As I mentioned, we will assume some dimension for the workpiece portion which will be held inside the chuck jaw. So I will give a reference dimension of let's say 15 mm uh, or rather 10 mm over here. Okay, as it was mentioned this is the total diameter so it has to be taken as 19 then further i have this width which is to be taken as 8 and this diameter over here has to be taken as so total diameter is 34 so 34 by 2 that is 17 then this uh, diameter is total diameter is 24 so it should be 12 now this taper width is also 8 it is mentioned in the diagram Then from here, till the end, the total width is 20. And this particular width is also given which is 8. And I have to dimension this radius as R equal to 10 mm and once I do that okay, by default you will see this dimension comes out to be 8 which I need not to mention otherwise I will over define the geometry so by default this is coming as 8 okay, which we want so these are my dimensions okay now what I will do I have got the fully defined sketch. 
I will rotate or revolve the sketch, not rotate. And this is the part that I generate. Okay, I just switch the sketch view to show so that I can get the references. And now one more additional thing I will do over here that is I will I will drill this workpiece so that my workpiece uh, will look like the uh, one which was shown here in the yeah so I will have to just drill this hole this is 5 12 mm drill and it is its total uh, depth is 17 with the uh, depth till the tip is 17 and the total uh, uh, base diameter depth is 12 mm okay so we'll try to design the uh, drill in that way so what i'll do i'll go to hole wizard okay i'll select over here m10 and i'll just redefine it with the dimension so uh, the drill is going to be a straight straight hole ok and the diameter that I am looking is 12 mm The depth is 12. The depth is 12 and the angle which we have got is 118 degrees. So I will get the required depth at the tip point. Okay, so I'll just go to the position and I position my hole at the center in this way just say ok yeah so that's it so just to confirm okay just to confirm what we will do is I'll just showcase the section view So this is what we have drawn so far. It is exactly same as this diagram. Okay, it is exactly same as this diagram. And if you want, we can measure whether we have got the actual value or not. The distance is not exactly 17, but it is 15.61. So that is okay. If I just reduce the angle a little bit, okay, on the uh, this particular hole. default angle over here yeah this angle over here if I just reduce it a little bit let's say 108 degrees or 105 degrees then probably the distance will start increasing the distance is now 16.6 .6, so few more degrees change and I will get the distance equal to 17 mm ok so 103 degrees Sixteen point seventy seven. So I hope.
hope you have got the idea how I am editing the uh, dimensions. Okay, let us make it 100 degrees and go ahead with whatever value we get. It will be close to 17 mm, which is required. So it is 17.0. So that is exactly what we desire. So now we have got our uh, workpiece ready. So let us move into the master cam environment. Before that, I will just save this part. Give some appropriate name. And I'll go into the master cam toolpath manager. Okay, since the default machine group one is milling machine group. So I will have to create a new machine group. So I'll go to groups, new machine group and let. And it opens all the properties for the let machine group. I will give some appropriate program name. Okay, I will calculate the feed calculations from the tool values. And I will have the material as Is steel 303 stainless steel okay we'll go to stock and for the left spindle i am going to set up the stock so i'll go to properties now first what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the outer diameter so the outer diameter is this Okay, now the length, the total length that we are looking at is going to be this. So it is 46 and I'll have the positive Z. Okay, even though on the diagram, I, I suppose it was specified as negative Z. So origin was specified over here. So that's okay. We'll, we'll uh, go ahead with the negative Z origin. Okay, so now origin also coincides with the origin which is required to be set. Now I'll use margins, okay, but I will not give a value for the uh, outer diameter margin because as I told you, okay, this portion is going to be held inside the chuck, okay, and only uh, cutting will be taken wherever we have been provided with the width dimensions. So these horizontal dimensions. So we have to machine till this portion only so i will have a workpiece of 538 mm okay raw material workpiece and then i will be creating an end product out of it so that is going to be the task okay right margin i will set as 5 and also left margin just for the safety i will keep it as 5 so that the or 10 rather so that uh, con considerable amount of portion is held inside the chuck job Yeah, so one thing is remaining that is I have to select the location of Z. Okay, so the location of Z is this. Okay, and then I will preview the lath boundaries and now you can see the lath boundary came the way we want it. Okay, so now we'll be only removing this portion of the workpiece. As I told you, this will remain untouched and it will go inside the chuck job. So that's okay. That is confirmed. I will say ok here and ok. Now the next thing that we will be doing is a setting up a rough turning operation and for that we will be making use of the these edges. Up to this. Ok up to this. So this uh, basically is not only turning it is uh, can cycle uh, turning facing okay can cycle turning facing or taper turning uh, and radius turning okay together so the facing will be separately carried out to face this particular uh, surface of the workpiece later and then we will drill a hole in it We will select a T0101 that is R.8. Okay, there are various tools available. 
Okay, of course, we can go with the OD finish tool. This is a OD rough uh, tool. Then we can have a OD finish tool later on for uh, good finishing uh, on the uh, outer periphery of the workpiece. We'll go ahead with this tool. The rough parameters. Now we'll keep this overlap. Okay, equal steps. The total depth of cut is going to be let's say 2 mm and uh, stock to live in x stock to live in z let it be 0 0.2 0 0.2 so if it is desired to carry out a finishing cycle later that is possible to carry out okay then uh, entry amount let it be 2.5 so the feed and uh, feed of the tool will start 2.5 mm before the workpiece so or uh, what I would do is I will set this value to 5 so that uh, since we have given the raw material margin okay the right margin for raw material or the uh, stock as 5 okay so let it be 5 so that workpiece uh, and tool are not in contact before the spindle starts rotating then uh, yeah the rest of the things will remain as it is I have the computer compensation on okay and stock recognition i'll say use uh, the remaining stock the remaining stock so that while simulating we get to see how much stock is remaining okay so that's about it just cross verify the operations yes the operation looks uh, in proper way i'll just save this and i'll run the verify selected operations will wait for the workpiece to load completely now as you can see the tool and workpiece the tool is a, a larger one in this case but that's okay that is the sample dimensions we are going ahead with okay, slow down the speed yeah, that is how it is doing the machining on the cylindrical workpiece as I told you, this portion is being held inside the chuck jaw. Okay, only this portion we need to machine. And this is the additional portion of the uh, workpiece which needs to be faced. Okay, so we'll use a facing operation to reduce the length of the tool to the desired value. And then we will carry out the drilling operation. The first operation is done. The second operation required is a facing operation. So for facing again, I'll be using a similar tool or you can use some different tool as well. we we'll go ahead with this tool, rough face right. Okay. <coughs> then face parameters. Okay, the finish Z is somewhere here. Okay, now a rough step over is to finish step over is I will say uh, 0.25 and I will increase the finishing cycle to 2. Okay, I will specify the overcut amount as let's say 0.75 and uh, there is no stock to leave on the uh, workpiece because we are carrying out the finishing step over in the same operation. Okay, so can have a lead in lead out okay lead in is in this direction and lead out can be in this direction and the length can be increased to let's say 10 so that the tool goes away from the workpiece as it completes the operation I'll just say okay to this and that is how the tool approaches and leaves the workpiece okay so again i'll save first then I'll check both the operations and I verify the selected operations. Here run these. This is how the facing will also be done. This is how the facing will be done. So now as you can see, it completely finished the 
uh, workpiece in a required manner with only remaining thing is the drilling operation the only remaining thing is the drilling operation so we'll continue with drilling okay now the third operation and the final for this particular uh, part is drill okay so i have gone into the lathe tool parts drill now remember the size over here is 12 mm okay so diameter of the drill is 12 mm so we'll have to select the tool accordingly and the depth is some what 17 mm or something now these are spot drills center drills okay then the drill tool starts and this is the drill tool with diameter 12 so if i double click here you can get the diameter as 12 and here you can modify the lengths okay, here you can modify the lengths so the total uh, the cutting length of the uh, tool is almost let's say 50.4 a 50.4 and we want only 17 mm to be drilled so that is okay okay that is okay it's a carbide tool and this is a tool which we are going to select okay so simple drill no pecking because the 17 mm drill can be taken in one shot so we don't require any uh, peg drilling to carry out so depth i will specify from here yeah that is the depth which is 28.96 okay drill point i will specify which is this and depth has to be absolute okay so i'll have to reselect it this is the depth and the clearance will be let's say 10 from stock and the retract is going to be say again 5 okay from stock or you can say clearance you can increase a bit say 20 and retract can be 10 for safety reasons and that to from stock okay drill tip compensation not required we are not going to drill the through holes okay because the arrangement of chuck jaw doesn't permit us to drill a through hole at this point of time we then have to change the type of chuck jaw we are going to use okay if we have to drill the through holes and simple drill custom parameters also we didn't have to uh, we do not have to change so this is about it for the uh, drilling operation on the lathe machine and say okay and i will again save the part again check all the operations and say verify selected operations and we'll start the simulations so the facing done and then the drilling is also done as i mentioned okay it takes some time to come up with the enhanced model so even if the operation has been done okay on this simulation platform okay it takes some time to generate the model depending on your graphics card and the available memory so this this is about it we saw the rough cut turning taper turning radius turning operation then the facing operation and finally the drilling operation on the lath machine center so i hope you have understood this and stay tuned for more such interesting content on computer aided manufacturing until then uh, thank you very much